Hi everybody and welcome back. In Matthew chapter 26 we read that Jesus went into the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And when he got there he put his disciples to one side and he went further so that he was alone with the Father to pray. And we know that in his prayer he was seeking God concerning what lay before him. He wanted to make the right decision. So we see that he drew aside, he drew into the Father's presence so that in that environment between him and God, he could make the right choice concerning the future. Now, I think that's important because too often we find ourselves in a place of turbulence. Uh, we find ourselves in a place of unrest, maybe in our relationship with God or our relationship with other people. And now we want to make a decision. And that is the worst possible time to make a choice. I often say to people, let the dust settle. If there's been a disturbance in the home, if there's been a disturbance in your life in some form or fashion, let the dust settle. Just come to a place of peace and rest, and then you will be a good place to make whatever decisions and choices you, you feel you need to make. Otherwise, we find ourselves reacting to the circumstance and not responding to the Holy Spirit. I'll say that again. We find ourselves reacting to the circumstance and not responding to the Holy Spirit. When we react, if it's impulsive. When we react, it's carnal, it's fleshly, it's, it's based on our feelings, our emotions. But when we respond to the Holy Spirit, we're putting ourselves in the right attitude of heart that God can lead us, direct us, and we can do what is right. In Numbers chapter 20, we read of how Moses became impatient with the people of Israel. He was so frustrated with their constant complaints and, and so on that he takes the rock, the rod, and he strikes the rock. And the result of him striking the rock in his anger, in his frustration, was that he missed out on the promise of God. He didn't do it once, twice, three times. He missed out on the promise of God simply because he allowed the circumstance to bring this reaction within him and he made the wrong choices. And you see, we need to be careful that we're not impatient and impulsive. Psalm 27 verse 14 gives us a great word of advice. He says, wait for the Lord, be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. That's where we need to be, in that place of peace and rest, so we can see what God wants us to do. God bless you.